Well, here we are with another amazing situation. So I've got to take these wheels and tires off this truck because the winner wants these ones, which is awesome because they look amazing and they're gonna look great on this truck. Problem, my socket, my deep 19 to take these spikes off is missing. Nowhere to be found. Made a bunch of phone calls, trying to ask around, see if anybody would have taken the wheels off for any reason. But this is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna attempt to drill out one of my extensions just deep enough to where the spike will fit into it to get me just enough distance to where I can catch on to these and take these off the impact. Because as you can see, the spike just has to go in a little bit, a half inch, and then uh, that would work. And I know people are gonna be like, why would you destroy that? Just go pick one up. Well, you can't just go pick those up around town because nobody carries super deep 19s for spike lug nuts around town. So I'd have to order one and I don't have that much time before he's gonna be here. So we're gonna try to make this work and then order one to use these wheels again. So welcome back to the channel. Starting this one off with a good experiment, which is going to be trying to drill out an extension to be able to get these wheels off this truck so we can get the 38s on. And that is the main objective of this video. If you wanna see the 38s on Frosty, this hopefully is the video for you. So stay tuned, we're gonna get this heater cranked up here and we are gonna to get to installing these wheels and tires. Now, if you have not done so yet, enter to win the regular cab Longhorn. You guys are down to the last, I wanna say 11 days to enter to win that truck. So go get entered today. Check out some of our new stuff. We got a new camo LMP hoodie. We've got new, actually baby merch and a bunch of other stuff, a bunch of new stickers on the store and all that jazz. Anyways, go check it out. Let's get into the video. In theory, it should work and it should give me the distance that I need to be able to get these wheels off but you never know. So we're gonna get to drilling this out right now and see what kind of progress we can get. Oh man, Jacob, I gotta tell you, you have good taste. Turning down the 24s on this truck, on this old body style Dodge or Ram, whatever you wanna call it, was the right move. And let me show you why I think it was the right move. This is, I think I'm gonna be a sucker for old school wheel and tire setups after I show you guys this. Look at this thing, oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start. First off, the whole complication with the sockets and all that jazz, we did get that figured out and we got the wheels off. I mean, just look at how good this truck looks. I kind of forgot how much I like the smaller rim, big tire effect. And I just, man, I just gotta tell you, this thing looks absolutely incredible. Like just so, it looks so good. And for being a 10 wide, like a 16 by 10, it doesn't do it proper justice because the 16 by 10 itself sits about flush with the fender, but since it's a 1350 wide tire, it sticks out way more. So it sits out approximately 50% tread. See, you got about four you know, sections of tread that go across, and it's two of those sections stick out. So it's like the stance that I like, but with the meaty tire that a lot of you guys like. So. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I, it's kind of got me thinking about some ideas for the 7.3, honestly. But it's so hard to beat this look on an old truck, at least. You know what I'm saying? Like on the old school truck, this is a look that is just hard to deny as being like a good fit. We're gonna actually get the truck started. I'm gonna open up the door and I'm gonna see how these clear. I'm not sure exactly how they clear. I know that with the 14 wides and the 35s, they, pretty much cleared all the way until you did a full lock and then it just hardly touched. Like after the wheel was fully locked, it just touched a little tiny bit, but it wasn't bad. So I'm gonna do um, a startup. I'm gonna open up the garage bay so we don't fume ourselves out. And then we're gonna see just how much these clear, if not 100%. Look at this, this is, this is awesome. When I closed the garage door, this entire driveway was gravel and there was no snow out here. And that truck was spotless. And now look at it. It's probably three inches on that tire. Just a whole bunch of powder. Whole bunch of powder. This is our first like heavy snow um, that we've had this season. Cause this has been snowing for maybe an hour. And we've already got like uh, quite a bit of snow down on the ground. That's crazy. <laughs> It's about a full lock right there. It's pretty freaking close. This is a monster, oh my 
my goodness. Oh boy. So we got second gen Longhorn. We've got Frosty. This thing is a monster on these freaking 38s. Oh my gosh, there's no justice. This truck is so big. But we're going to go into the shop here because I'll show you something I got going on in here. I was going to take this truck to the BMV this morning and I go to take it to the BMV and it's just covered in snow because we got all that snow last night. I mean, covered in snow, four inches of snow over the whole thing. I'm like, they're not going to be able to read that then and they're not gonna scrape the snow away to be able to read it. I said, so if I don't clean this off, they're not gonna accept it. So long story short, here's the 7.3. I melted all the snow off of it. We're gonna get this truck fired up and get it pulled out of here. Now that is how they're supposed to start. Oh yeah. Got a couple small modifications we're gonna be doing to the new 7.3 project here, but if you have not done so yet, you might wanna to enter to win this truck because guess what? There's only 10 days left to enter to win this. Actually, might only be nine. Nine or 10 days left to enter to win this truck. Every $5 is five entries to win. Couple quick updates with the 7.3. First off, let me go into the interior and I'll show you what the changes are. Now, when I said I'd show you the changes, what I actually meant to say was I'll explain to you the changes of what we're gonna be doing. So, in terms of the interior, we were gonna go with a diamond stitch pattern all the way up and down the center to kind of give it that more premium look. Uh, however, we're gonna actually make a little bit of a change. The guy that I talked to, he said he can do the diamond stitch pattern. However, the difference in wait time would be that then he would have the truck literally almost a month. I really don't wanna have the truck gone for a month again because I just ordered tons of new parts and I don't wanna wait a month before I can get my parts in. I don't think you guys wanna wait a month either. So we're gonna actually go, and I think you guys are gonna still be okay with this. It's gonna be all black leather with a perforated black leather insert down the whole middle here where it's that different tone. It's gonna to be perforated leather and then he's gonna use gray, charcoal gray stitching all the way around the seam of the seat. So it's gonna be, it's still gonna be epic. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, oh my goodness, it's not gonna look good. It's still gonna be crazy because we still do have a lot of black accents like the panels here, you know, this. I mean, obviously the truck's black, um, all the switching panels and all that stuff. And then we've got a lot of charcoal gray in here as well and the panels and leather and the dash. So he's gonna do black with the charcoal gray stitching. Um, and I think it's, gonna, it's still gonna look super killer. It's just gonna save way more time on his end to get everything prepped and done. So super excited about that. Okay, so let's get to installing some new little goodies. So I just ordered this stuff actually last night. That's crazy. Not even 24 hours and all the cab lights already came in with new LEDs. So we're gonna go and pop these in the truck here. This is a super easy, simple process. I've done it on a couple of these trucks already. So you pretty much just unscrew the caps, pop them off, pull the bulb out, pop the LED in, screw the cap back on, and well, the new, the new cap on, and then it's pretty much done. So we're gonna get to installing those right now just to kind of change up the look. This is gonna be the last upgrade between this and the other one I'm gonna show you here that we're gonna be able to do for about two weeks, which is what it's gonna take to do the leather interior and then have the truck back. cargo light, third brake light, whatever you want to call it, installed, and you can see these tail lights here. That's why I want to change them out. And they're all right, but they're just, they're not my style. Then you've got that LED, really bright. It's gonna help light up your bed. Then you've got the cab lights in all of their glory. They're all lit up, super bright. Actually, can you kick the lights up really quick, Reagan? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Look how bright it is in this thick and drive. It's crazy. Look how much it's beaming on the ceiling. It's nuts. So now, actually we're gonna need to crack the door again so the bed light will turn on because that one's on a timer. Look how bright that one is. It's nuts. Crazy, it won't focus on it, but it's really bright. That's pretty much it. What are your thoughts on the 7.3? I don't like the way it sounds. You don't, why not? 
This doesn't sound as good. Doesn't sound as good as that. Yeah. It's my opinion. Well, you know, it. Everybody's it. opinion is just like that. He can't help it. He's a Ford. He can't sound quite as good. Even though it's a good Ford, it's a 7.3. He can't sound quite as good as a 5.9 diesel or a 6.7. I don't know. That's just me. So hopefully, guys, enjoyed the video. If it did, smash that thumbs up. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win that regular cab that I showed you in the video, the five speed manual, second gen Longhorn is what we call it. Go down into the description below. This is how you enter. Nothing fancy you don't have to do. You don't have to go fill out some form, some survey, or whatever. You go to the website, you select your favorite item or items, you check out, and every $5 that you spent gets you five automatic entries towards winning that truck. It's that easy. The more money you spend, obviously, the more entries you get, but you can spend as little as $5 and you're entered to win. Information's in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.